A bigger Lego solenoid engine. I thought it would be cool to make a bigger engine for once, since I have mostly focused on fairly small engines. And well, here it is. For this build, I decided to design a different kind of valve gear. This one uses uh, some sort of reversing mechanic for the second valve. And there's a reason for this. Uh, because I'm using two solenoid coils this time. What I'm essentially doing is activating each coil independently with these two springs here, which act as switches. Okay, that's the switching. Let's take apart the assembly and see what the cylinder looks like. The cylinder is made of two Lego pieces with the magnet in between them and just some duct tape to stick it all together. The magnet moves back and forth between the two coils as each of the coils activate independently. So, let's see how this design runs. Yep, pretty well. It's not the most powerful engine, I will say. It doesn't need a whole load of force to uh, get it to stop. But it does run very smoothly. And here I'm manually slowing down the engine, so you can see how the valve gear works. And mainly the switching. And here's a top overview of the engine. Well, not much to tell about this engine. It's the same as my previous engines, really. Uh, the flywheel is uh, something different. I cobbled it together from two brass gears and some parts from a stage light. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Which will be about my Stirling engine. Bye bye.